Welcome back into the studio. I know we don't usually have this nice wide view so that we can see the whole machine and me and tools and everything else, but I have an amazing new product that I wanna share with you from So Steady. So what I'm introducing today is the brand new suspension system from So Steady. And the parts of it are pretty easy. It's not really complicated. There's not a lot to do. I'm really just gonna pick up one of the main components and this is it. This is one of the support items that is part of the system. And when I got mine, I have two of them, but you can buy however many that you want. These are a little bit lightweight. This wiring is pretty sturdy and pretty secure, so I can adjust it and flex it, but it is really strong. So even when there's some weight, it might flex a little bit, but it's not just gonna drop down. And the way that you put it together it's very, very simple. There's just a little ball joint right here. It's a little plastic pin. And this little ball just fits right on there like that. And I'm just gonna pop it right into that. And I always wanna put this on first. And then when I screw this down, that's how it is secured, the clamp to this support structure. Okay, so just tighten it up gently. It is plastic, finger tight is good. Don't ratchet it down there for all your work. Now, you'll see that the clamp has kind of this round configuration, and I'm gonna show you how to do that when we actually put the quilt on, but that's what these little additional components are for. This is a dowel that is gonna help this grip the quilt, and I'll show you how to do it in just a minute. Okay, so we've got the clamp right here, and how do we use it? This is just a finger grip. You just pull on it, and it's gonna open up, once some of the threads are exposed, we can just lift this part and it's gonna open up that little clamp. And these are rubberized, so whatever you grip them onto, it's protected. There's a little pad in there to protect that surface. So I'm gonna open mine just a little bit more so I can open this up. And the way that I'm gonna use it is I'm actually gonna clip this right onto my Sew Steady table. If you had something that was a little bit heavier, you may wanna be able to clamp it onto the edge of your table and then the width of your table also makes a difference. So mine is pretty far back. I can't put this clip on the very far end and still support the quilt. Well, there's my friend back there. So I told you I have two. So I've already installed one and it's pretty much behind the sewing area, just basically behind where the needle would be to support that back part of the quilt. And I'm gonna put the other one right here on the corner and I'm just gonna put it on like that and put the sew steady table right inside the little opening right there and then just tighten this up and ratchet it down. All right, so we've shown you the arm that is the support piece and now we're gonna put it on. So I've loosened up this part of the screw right here and just pulled up the thread a little bit. And now I'm just gonna insert this right on the table and just hold it in place with my fingers and tighten it down. When you get yours, yours will probably be coiled up. This whole part of this is coiled up. When I got mine, it fits into the bag and it's kind of like looped around. Well, obviously we have to unloop that and we've got to you know, secure it a little bit to fit the quilt better. So you just hold on to it with two different areas and you can manipulate that to get this to be as straight as you want. It's not like a straight line. It's, it's gonna have some pull on it once we put the quilt on it, but just finger tight this, don't make it ratcheted down. Again, these parts are plastic, so we wanna make sure that we treat them with respect and they're gonna be great for helping that quilt to hold up. So the next thing I wanna show you is how big of a quilt I've put on this just to test it out and see how great it works and then we'll actually sew a little bit. When I'm putting it on, I wanna make sure that I'm supporting the quilt as I clamp it and not letting the weight of it drag off of the table and just pull on these. So I'll give you some ideas right now as we put it on, we'll install it on here and you can see how it'll support the quilt really well so that we can quilt away free motion with a lot less struggle. So I wanted to hold up the piece that I'm gonna put up really quickly just to give you an idea of scale. 
we're visual and we always need some scope to see how, how big of something is. So right now, this is 44 inches wide. So from my fingers, it's 44 inches from side to side with my arms a little bit outstretched. And the length of this, if I hold it up right now to my mouth, <laughs> you know, it's touching the floor. So this is a pretty good size piece, 44 inches by 55. And it's not a king size, it's not a quilt size, a queen size, it's generous lap, but it's a pretty substantial thing. If I was trying to quilt with rulers or quilt with free motion, there's a lot of weight and body to this. This is single batted, so if you had double batted, it would be even more weighty. We're gonna go ahead and put this on the suspension system and let you see how it moves and give you an idea of how great this little helper is. Okay, we've shown you the quilt and now we're gonna hook it up. And you know, these do flex a little bit, so I'm gonna support the quilt when I do it. I'm taking this little dowel and I'm gonna basically just put it underneath. And if I need to, I can actually roll it a little bit to secure it in the fabric and just put it under the clip. Make sure that the dowel fits and just kind of give that a little push together. You can see, obviously, it's holding it right there. And then what we're trying to do is we're not trying to like hold it up like a big sheet or something like that. All we're trying to do is support it so the weight is relieved a little bit. So here's my other dowel and I'm just gonna stick it under here, right? And I'm just gonna put a little pressure on that and kind of roll it up just to put that dowel in there and hold a little bit of this. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put that right inside that little clamp and make sure that those are closed. And right away, you can see there's a little bit of movement inside there. These definitely can move. But when you see how it holds up the quilt, on the other side and how these float a little bit, it allows the fabric to move really well. So let's go ahead and move to the other side and we're gonna do a little sewing and show you how great this system is at taking up that weight, letting the quilt move freely. All right, so we've got it all suspended and just really quickly, I'm just gonna go like this and you can see that it can move so nicely. It's basically, holding up that weight so you don't have that drag that makes it really, really difficult to quilt freely. So what I thought I would do is I'm just gonna do a little bit of ruler work. We're not really trying to make anything specific, but I want you to see how much easier it is to move everything with that weight alleviated. And then we can just do a little bit of free motion and show you how you can move that weight as well. Right here, I do have the ability to shift the quilt over you know, and flatten out the spaces as I need to. And again, that's the flexing of those rods. It's gonna allow us to pull it towards us, push it away a little bit and still be supported. So real quick, I'll just put the ruler on and I'll get my foot right in position. So I'm just aligning it right on this little seam area that we have and I'll pick up my bobbin thread. So we've got the bobbin thread pulled up the ruler is aligned and we've got everything supported. I'm just gonna hold on to the ruler and then again, use both hands and just start sewing. So right now, everything is supported. Again, I'll just continue monitoring my hand position so that I can support the ruler. But the quilt itself is actually moving really well and I'm not having to fight with it or hold really, really difficult, you know, all my body weight. So let's just adjust the position and smooth this out here. Just make sure that the fabric is laying flat. And here we go. You can see that the quilt is just moving right along with me very easily. And I can adjust my position. And it's just sewing right along. The only thing that I see that I need to do is just adjust my hand as I sew because the quilt is able to move really freely. So I don't have to fight with it. I don't have to like manhandle it or anything because it basically it's floating. So as long as the ruler is held in position, I can sew very smoothly without any problem. Okay, and we'll just finish up this line and just keep sewing.
All right, I'm concentrating really hard. Can you tell? So here we'll just stop right here at the margin. This is the miter of this area. And now we've just quilted that much of that space and been able to move very freely without any problem. So that's something that I love about this system is it lets the ruler really stay in place without me having to work really hard when the quilt is heavy. The other thing I wanted to share is how easily we can actually do free motion as well. So if I want to, you can see the whole quilt is easily going with me. I'm not having to work really hard. I can even manage it basically with one hand because the weight is alleviated. And that's the number one thing I like about this system is it's allowing me to maneuver and be much more free and not have all that stress in my neck, all that stress in my shoulders. I'm not feeling like, oh, I'm so angry because it's so heavy and I can't do it. So we have just used it for a very few minutes, right? But can you imagine if it's floating and all the weight is relieved and you're sewing for two, three hours, how much better that is gonna make you feel at the end of your sewing session? That is gonna make a big difference for any quilter out there. So I've told you what I like about it. I like that relief of the weight. I like the freedom of movement. I like how easily I can make the ruler stay in place. And I also love that it gives me that additional free motion freedom so that I can go all the different directions and not have to be fighting with the quilt. But I'm really curious to know, what do you feel is the best? And the only way you'll find out is for you to try it yourself. So it's a really great product. Speak to your retailer and have them bring that in so that you can have a chance to try this amazing new product. And we are going to be offering additional information and education for this product as we go forward. So I hope you'll come along and join us and see how amazing it is for yourself.